Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about general mole balances. Now we know the concept of mole which is a specific number of a certain quantity which could be molecules, atoms or anything. And molar flow rate is the amount of moles that are passing that a quantity of moles that are passing or um, processing in a certain amount of time that is called molar flow rate. Now let's apply the molar flow rate concept and apply a balance. So when we think of a balance, we think of um, where two quantities equal out each other. So let's say in, so the um, total amount of quantity that is entering in is equal to out. Now or we could also write it as in minus out is equal to zero. Let's say uh, some amount enters from here and this is our system and it comes out. If they are both equal, that means that in minus out is equal to zero. But let's say in the case where we have some quantity where in is not equal to out, then our equation would be in minus out is equal to the amount that is accumulated. So some amount would go in and some amount would go out and but some amount would reside in this system that amount would be called the accumulated amount now let's say if we have some kind of reaction happening in this system so either we have in we will have some in and we will obviously have some out but some amount would either generate something would generate or something would be consumed so from this from this that we are entering fj not entering some reaction would occur and some amount something would generate which would be gj something would either generate if it generates then we will add it in the system in this uh, equation if it consumes then we will subtract it from the equation but here we will assume that something is generating so we will just add in the generation term generation is equal to accumulated amount Now let's apply this concept on this equi in this particular system where we have F is the flow rate, molar flow rate of a species J and the naught represents that it is the ini entering or initial flow rate and Fj is the final flow rate which is coming of the species J which is coming out so in minus out plus gj which is the amount which is generating so some reaction would happen inside the system and this amount gj would produce and then we will obviously have the accumulation the amount of species j which is accumulated inside the system so both of these so this amount which is molar rate molar rate accumulation of species j would be the amount number of moles the change in number of moles of j the change in number of moles of j per unit change in time so the accumulation term here is a kind kind of a tricky concept because it's based on the change changes that are occurring in in both of these quantities for example fj 
not and fj these these quantities and will determine the amount that is accumulated inside the species inside this system and when we look at the units of these all of these we will see that these are all mole per time 